Hey, how's it going? Chrome and Chris here. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4. I'm just going to start off, get all the viewpoints for Havana, uh, and then we'll jump into the story. So I'll be right back. Here's our last viewpoint. Gorgeous view. Alright, now while we were going around, this little blue chest popped up. And when you hover over it, it says you discover this event. Gain money. And we've got a uh, of an hour and three quarters to complete the event, so uh, best got to move on in completing that. Oh yeah, of course we can use each of the viewpoints as fast travels now as well. So I'll fast travel. Oh, sack that again and fast travel over there. All the viewpoints ticked off. Still got a number of things to collect, but I'm pretty happy. So let's have a look at this chest. What did I get? Hmm. Over a thousand reals. Why is that guy looking at me? I haven't done anything, Mercedes. Anyway, let's have a look at this contract. Like with most things, uh, I'll do it once and then possibly do the rest off camera. Oh, it's like the uh, pigeon coops. Uh, yeah, we'll accept that contract. That's our target then. Don't think it'd be too hard. I've just completed an action by the looks of it. I just want to get in there and kill him. No, I don't think so. Get this guy and go for him. Oh, come on, so on the ladder. <laughs> okay, cool. Pretty straightforward. Easy to do. Uh, it sounds like there is a pirate fight over here. Oh, baby, you're 
before I wear your chain. Got him sighted. I've got a line on him. I think we did it. Unless. Oh. He's dead. Right, are we done? Although, I don't think it worked properly. Unless there is someone else that can see us. Possibly this guy over here. Yeah, I think it's void. So yeah, a couple of things to do on the map here. Um, but all of that really I can do off camera now. Um, so yeah, let's crack on with the mission. Let's fast travel to this place. Because technically I shouldn't have been able to get that viewpoint. Because it's inside. But we'll look over that. That's fine. <laughs> I like that it gives you a little overview of what's being collected in this area. If you click a button, which is not that one, I didn't want to do that. Right, I'm just going to start the mission if I can. Come on, guys. Nope. And the rain started. <laughs> I have to be anonymous. Ow. Okay, I can get tackled. There we go. Right. Into the abyss. Mr. Walpole, I presume. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Thank you. Ese es el hombre. El, ¿cómo lo llamabas? Asesino. Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. These Cállate. foreigners. El gobernador tiene invitados. Todos franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre rudo. Le suponía un aspecto más respetable. Llévame ese en alta mar. Sé indulgente con él. He's got a point. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are Governor? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers, a pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry? My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah, quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne! Our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. It's not like he's devilishly handsome, is it? Julien Ducasse. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. So technically, he's a Templar. Again.
and not an assassin. You've got my two best pairs of mashed pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like, get a feel for it. <laughs> I once thought beside the man who carried nine on his person. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim, sadly. <laughs> Quite. I do kick, yes? I long for a day where one firearm carries four bullets, and not the opposite. I'll have 16 soon. Well, I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique! Well, I've shot all of them, I think. Is there any more? Talk to the host. Oh, All challenge. Right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Oh, no. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Yeah, I'm ready to go up this way. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Just. Right, now I've got Julian's challenge. Oh, it's not a challenge. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. <laughs> Two blades, as is the custom, eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, uh, we must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly uh, show you what I know. Here. You see, situations well suited to your skills. Have a go! A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Mm, this one. Quite ingenious oh. to use bales Why do you not? Cover, don't you think? Yeah, I was trying to get it. There we go. Gosh, that's the spirit. Secrecy. Oh, I was about to take this guy out. <laughs> the advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around the blind corner. God blind me, that's a clever trick. Yep, very clever. Despite their conspicuous quality, would you show us? Yep, I'm trying to. Magnifique. Is oh, it I'm also done performing? To deliver a killing blow at high speed. I believe it is. Like this. Fascinating. Indeed. Let's continue, guys. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your <laughs> business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? 
Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Indeed. Wish him luck, the enemy. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. Si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. This guy's armor to the nines, jeez. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please. Hold out your hands. It looks like Byzantine Mark armor. and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cooled. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Yay, we're a Templar. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place. Allow you to replay missions with interesting modifiers. Keep in mind that pro question saving is then turned off. To activate the sheet, open the pause menu. Okay. Precursors once called the observatory. See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades this is now, like I have endeavored big to locate girls. this observatory. A place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only wow. imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery, only justice, pure justice. This is the observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon, for in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. The little glass cube. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. May your pockets be a little lighter. 
For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Yay! 100%. I just noticed there that it's, uh, Rest well, they say give us feedback. Tomorrow the treasure cool. fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Yes, I know. He literally just told me. Thanks for telling me again. Well, what's that? Catch the courier. No, I'm not. I'm not a pirate. I'm not a pirate, alright? Weasley, a little guy. There we go. It's alright. I don't intend to kill you. Alright, let's go down to the docks. Oops. Uh, can I fast travel there? No. So I can fast travel there. I guess it's a little bit closer at least. Although not massively. Morning, hello. You are not the governor. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar! Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah. Well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Oh, there he is. Here he is. A man both Templars and assassins have sought for over a decade. Over a decade? I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, oh. the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Such a fuss over one man. This is the same. observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, it's in Lula. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned a desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way a pity but the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished Aye, that's the idea i don't like this route torres we're exposed something is wrong stay close grandmaster i feel it too do not let them get their hands on the sage at whatever cost okay so we're about to get attacked then Assassins! Where? Oh, there. Above! They're on the rooftop! Oi! Okay, I need to get up there. 
Where's he gone? There. No! It's a waste of time. Got one on the roof still there. Yeah. Watch the street alley. Come on. There's a lot of assassins, man. Jeez. We got some sort of blow down. Oh. Sage doesn't want to be with the assassins either. Stop him! Yeah, go. So I got the sage from above. You're a nimble one, I'll give you that. And make this easy on both of us, mate. It's pretty fast, jeez. Right, can I tackle him from up here? Probably not. Stop, or I'll kneecap you. How is he still escaping? There we go. They didn't get the optional objective, but I've got him. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, chance. See, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. With luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Yes, sir. Indeed, indeed. All right, fantastic. Didn't get to do either of those, but that is complete. All right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.